pretty greedy, uh, but it definitely looks very effective. They got good team fight. They can take rows. They can take who, buildings. Who do you I'm say is greedy? Spawn. spawn. You say spawn is greedy. I mean, yeah, no, no. <laughs> Ras, actually, a bit more than a bit of Ras. You got me. Telekinesis. Ooh, monkey. Give him Emma the kill. Mandaya. That's a shit. <laughs> what the heck? Flood. This That's why he's report Rubik! Oh, he's he's Rubik! He's allowed to because he's Rubik! Why is the Rubik? They are not going to pull. So just back to the lane. Goodbye. Yep, that, that, that's uh... Yeah, <laughs> wow, did, did that's a little spawn. bit early, but yeah. <laughs> did, did I say spawn's gonna win? Radiance Curry yeah, has been killed. Well, you still have another core, of course, in Mamangdaya in that mid lane. Uh, gotcha! Actually, pretty far ahead against Yahweh in terms of experience. That's horrible in last hitting and denying. Stop playing. Not the kill. Another day. That's unfortunate. This Kraken shell just popped like a little bit because of the dot that he took, so it was a full fresh Kraken <laughs> shell. That means you need to take 550 damage before it pops. And uh, yeah, that killed him. That was a good timing on the arrow. Freeze. Taking some damage, hiding inside the tree line. Triple raise. Will he die? I Rubik hit right click. Right click. Right -click. <laughs> a bit longer. Yeah, baby! Is that your excuse every time? <laughs> no, I just don't talk to my teammates. Top lane, red, bl oh, blows the Ravage. Doesn't get away, very unlikely, and they will find themselves a tied, oh, secured lasso as well. Yahweh takes your growth for a spin, and that should be it. Nice double kill. That's a two very important cores here in favor of Army Geniuses. My mom died, said, you, you, you. I had to farm Blink. <laughs> Do it again. Okay, Dalil, he's gonna get caught. Toss is it onto Mamangdaya, uh, but Mamangdaya, oh, still dies to the dot damage. That is gonna be easy triple kill. That did not go as well as planned. Sports from Spawn. Yeah, yeah. You see how desperate they are, right? Oh, that's very dangerous. Because if Marana leaps twice, you're up on the enemy high ground. There's gonna be a coming down. Nice. Two-man two catch. Ravage in return. Nice. Sap comes up. Reese will be taken down. Avalanche toss. Yokan drops very low. And it's actually going to be a kill only for spawn. In the meantime, they did lose the SM Radiant's bottom lane. Bottom and they will actually catch up that little for another kill. kill. I get it. Your name's ironic. Good Are you ready to rumble? Die. Our scanning. Let's talk about this mid lane. Your carry, the carries that are good are the carries that are always fight. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Oh, oh Mamangaya. Wow, that's so <laughs> Yeah, he got caught by an Invis monkey. Obviously, you're playing against Marana, so... Probably need to be aware of nastiness like that, but they're gonna find themselves a quick third, and that should secure the tier 1 tower towards mid. Look, look at Army Jean is looking very comfortable. They have so many sentries. Radiant structure and just not able to see. Radiant's middle like, tower. He, he was just attack. underneath the tower, too far out of range. He does get the presence of the Dark Lord debuff on him, so he immediately runs into the tree line. And uh, there's a the TP coming in. They will manage to get the Wreckham off onto two big downs coming out. Monkey King doesn't have a BKB. And a huge double kill comes in. Travels with a great bound to strike stun to get the uh, rav uh, Wreckham of Souls off and a huge counter bolt. Dyer are scattered. Better make the toss back. Got the BKB fought by Yahweh. Last one. Hex player. Oh, <laughs> 
They will find a support for support. Though Wukong's comes down. The monk is in his ulti. Ravage gets blown. They're gonna go for more, or are they? Holy oh, no, never mind. That monkey king, Wukong, does so much damage. Mangaya gonna get away. Though he cannot. Song of the Siren Red will not get away. They will catch Travens. Get the root and red deep side. <laughs> they, they, they definitely kill. fucked that up. They definitely fucked that up. No, no, no. They found the correct target. Rubik's the one that you need to kill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. He doesn't have Ravage. What do you have to do? Oh, I'm so done with you. <laughs> How am I gonna cast the next possible? But... I'm hungry. I haven't had my dinner. I'm this for me. Oh my god, the room! It was a nice attempt. Points for effort. Okay, that was. I see ya. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Uh, well, Jikroy is gonna die before that point. Have learned nothing. Got kidnapped by the. Uh, Yahweh, the boogeyman of the army geniuses side. Yeah, it, it's a rough game even if you take this to late, but there's a bit of a chance. I don't even have to buy BKB. Not one of the... Hello. Catch comes in. Both get control. Nice. Going in onto the monkey team, but the Wukong squad has a little bit too much. They will lose the tiny buyback. Came uh, not oh, coming arrow. out, but Jikor continues to TP, gets stunned up. Ravage, however, will be able to keep Jikor alive for now with the Wrecking of Souls, forcing Monkey King back. They have the lockdown to kill him you off. The Monkey, that's his first life, still has a second. Song of the Sign comes in and cancels it immediately afterwards. Jikor is stunned by the arrow immediately, but the Monkey King, he's losing too much HP thanks to Mamangdaya. They will lose the SF. But Mamang Daya is looking for more, still has another pounce available. Arrow gets stolen by Travins, and that's dangerous because it's gonna get- Oh no! Oh, I was so close! Oh, almost Rubik was useful! <laughs> that was- At least give something back. Smoke up, oh! Miss on the catch. However, there's going to be a two man stop with the Wukongs coming down. Both supports are going to die back. Lasso drag. Oh, Jikla is completely caught in trouble. Goes for the Raccoon, but the BKB popped by the Monkey King will keep him from getting caught completely. Silence comes in. Jikla, the arrow gets tanked by Red. Doesn't have a ravage for another 20 seconds. Wrecking of Souls comes out. DB is taking a lot of damage. Those three cards are still very scary. And the Mangaya continues his charges of leashes. On to his opponents. Luckily enough, Yokum still had one more leap left in the tank, and they will get themselves back. Two for one trade. Yahweh's. And with the cooldown reduction talent at level 20, uh, 15. Oh, a lot of errors. What is that lift? Check the replay, dude. Check the replay. Oh my god. That was. Data uh, ops there. I know, but that was still like as instantaneous as possible. That was beautiful. That's why you should always treasure, treasure every Rubik you encounter. Rukong's coming <laughs> down, actually gets cancelled. Yokam is gonna get taken down the one guy and looking for more and more and more. Gets stunned up inside the Wukong's command. Come. There is still a Ravage, but of course, waiting until the BKB ends, and that's gonna be the TP out. Toss back onto the Naga! The Requiem combo comes into play, and they get a huge quad kill into... Well, Roach hasn't respawned, so that's a little bit unfortunate. There are no creeps, so they can't get any objectives out of this. By the way, who I said was gonna... You think you can win thank this? You. Hey, thank you to me. Hey, they're still the 8kb, 7k <laughs> behind. There's a still... Hey, I also said Spawn's gonna win, not uh, when they were 11k behind, but I still said they were gonna win. <laughs> On the same. Yeah. Radiant are scanning. Mamang Diaz doing a pretty dangerous job. Thefts is seven seconds. Bat Riders is six. Come your way. Okay, so what have to pull. Allies oh, disappear. Yeah, right, right. Oh. Evans uh, does get caught. 
Oh, the two man stun with the tendrils from Red. Ravage comes in, but the Monkey King does get his spells off, and Mamandaya, does he get away? The arrow lands on him, did not bob dark back, and that is going to be a very dead Mamandaya, dropping the gem at all. Well, you know, that's why I said they That's my fault, too. Cast is curse, cast is curse, cast is curse. That looked like a really good two-man tendrils into Radiant's Ravage, but I think the Ravage fallen. came in like half a second too late because he got BKB off in time. Radiant structures are fortified. Money in the hands, you know? Radiant's middle tower is under attack. The high ground push comes into play, Jukroy. Right, his teammates Radiant's are dead, so he pretty much can't fallen. do anything. Doesn't have Reckham of Souls either. Radiance middle oh, oh my has fallen. No blade and but right click. Radiance I can middle farm creeps. Yeah. <laughs> I did that by the way not go for the ags and said he wants to go for the wraith back. <laughs> it's like one shot by the Naga loses and he sees it. Dark has fallen to the dark. Dark. Radiance top tower has fallen. Then I watch a lot of it, played very little of it. Kidnap the SF. Oh no, that's not good, Yahweh. Dive comes in deep from among Daya, Song of the Siren. Arrow. Uh, missed the mark very completely. But the BKB was used. Stolen lasso. Oh, Rubik coming in. Ravage gets blown. They pop the Aegis. Now he does pop the BKB though. with the Red Rune. Uh, does get stunned up in the process. Can he respond? No, he cannot. The Wukong comes down as well. This is a big Wukong's range. Jigger with the Reckon needs to force them away. And they will buy back onto the Rubik. So it's so far a one for one support for. Oh, he never mind. He decided, uh, let's just go for pure damage. <laughs> I, got, I got really confused. Yeah, Lincoln's queued up and now he goes for it. Nullify here. I don't remember reading a test for Relic and Help. Yeah, they killed up a second ago. Oh my Radiant's god! You have Lincolns now, yeah? Yep. Radiant's if only you had Lincolns, that would have been easy surviving. It, big mistake. Nullify Radiant's wouldn't save you there, buddy. Are under attack. Bye -bye. Radiant's bottom barracks Rubik, has the fallen. And there's only one set of racks left. We've got Naga. There, I mean, Naga's just straight up went for Radiant's a full core build. To be fair, DB used to be a safe laner as Radiant's well, so it's not too surprising. But he just went for Heart, Bloodthorn, BKB, Manta, and now Sight. <laughs> Guardian Reeves, who gets that? Yokam, you get that. Actually, Yokam has a mech, Wraith Pact. Is he gonna hit the arrow? Yay! It finally worked. There's a great. Ravage coming in, but Jikroy needs to get out of there. Silver Eggs does run back to safety. To low with the toss Radiant's back. Yokam is going to drop low and attack. taken down. Wukong's dropped to make Radiant's sure that they secure at fallen. least Megas. Radiant's top for the side of down. Army Geniuses. Dyer's top top is under attack. Oh, bound to strike. Oh, man. Blind singer. Uh, yeah, I I mean, there are some operas that are nice, but there are also some that are just like... Try and get, uh, get as high as possible. Thanks, Roshan. That's not... Yeah, but... Wine gets you drunk. <laughs> so, that's kind of the plus. <laughs> okay, toss back. Unfortunately, that's the BKB target. Lasso coming on to the Rubik. Big fat Wukong's command as well. There is very little you can do. The arrow lands onto Mamangdaya. And they're just going to go for the finish. It seems there's a bunch of Megas walking Radiant's in. Can you do anything? They have a buyback available on the tiny. Mamangdaya jumps in. Oh my lord. Takes a heap of damage. Ravage gets blown. But do they have anything more behind that? No, Mamangdaya is just 
forced to jump all the way back to his fountain. The remaining two heroes are very much stuck. There's a hurricane back for Jigra, but he gets hit by the overgrowth. This with the wrecking soul is trying to force him back. The refresher got used by the tide, but it does very little to almost nothing because it is going to be army geniuses that take game at number one. And we were both wrong, Winter. Take solace in that. Oh no, if I was playing, it would be horrible. Right, so... Did you On the other hand, it does mean that mids tend to be very stompy towards one side, otherwise. Sense. That's fun, right? Yeah, it depends on if you're getting stomped on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, they are uh, very aggressive on the chase. But at least Yao catch Mamang Daya, not level 6, very close to 6 though, but the Lil is actually the one dying instead. With Maurice joining in the party, doesn't have the mana for Tombstone, but the lasso is gonna connect, and that is a... Fuck oh, that, he didn't, almost he didn't, he didn't kill, he didn't so kill a kill. Oh, oh my. But Mamang Daya is still he the good support. He was a good support team, he didn't want to take the last hit. Yep, should have just... Uh, Taken. I prove you wrong. Oh, top lane. Now, see, he's farming ancient. Can't come and fight. Oh, no. Yeah, he doesn't have a TP scroll because he needs boss first. Roar comes out. Control onto him dying. They find the kill. And they're going to fall back on AG. A prize. Rock'em, Sock'em. Another round. Green coil in this surge. Do they have the damage? Jacroy is playing in pretty heavy strength, but they will still find the kill secured. Jacroy is a top net worth tied up with Yahweh, and he's doing a really exceptional job. He's got the full perseverance already done. Gonna be a nice uh, Lincoln's timing. Now he's going for Jikroy, but help out his teammates if they find a alone rogue. Support. Winston, speaking of support, the Lil gets the toss back. Oh, to Yahweh. But the Lil will actually be the one that dies instead. And the lasso onto the Morphling. Aegis is gonna get bopped. Maybe gets the waveform back. The Spectre continues for the chase. Jikroy is continuously swapping towards strength. He does get taken down. First level's gone red with the roar. Holds the Spectre in place, but. They're, I think, just gonna bail out. The Puck almost has his Dream Call available again in 10 seconds. They're continuing the chase, though. This is a little bit dangerous because they lose Travens in the process. Jikroy has a waveform in a second, should be able to get out Mamang Daya with the Dream Call in return. Are they gonna re engage? Yes, they are. Jikroy goes right back in, but there is the Spectre frontline. He's very tanky. Is he gonna be able to survive the Jikroy? He is out of mana. He cannot wait for the way. He gets taken down, and they thought that the Dream Call what's the way to turn it around red with the tp attempt well tp to safety but they're they, they're up against guardian greaves they constantly have that healing on army geniuses that spawn does not there's gonna be the jump in lasso onto red the beast master can he get the roar off no he cannot he's just gonna get taken on the rest of the team needs to disengage specter with the haunt chase for more looking for the low because deep is hard to control the Magdaya actually has an illusion orb in a second. Can he get the blink out? Yes, he can. But the visage familiars are on the chase. Is the rest of the team going to be able to continue for more? No, they are not. AG fall back. They're not going to go for a suicidal chase themselves. at least gives you some good uses out of it. Especially the fact that you can steal also status resistance from a strength hero. That one's kind of nuts. Okay, towards mid, they will find themselves DB. DB does not have the shard just yet, but has a lot of healing. The lasso comes out onto red, and in return, there is going to be the chase. He's back to full HP. That is just 
too no. much healing Great. coming out of the <laughs> dire oh, side. <laughs> oh. Are you good? Mech that high yeah. Yeah. Green call, snap. No BKB could even run Yahweh. That could be a big kill. They do manage to secure it. Spectre is going for the back line. Rubik stole the lasso. And Spectre will eventually get taken down. He jukes his way through and should be able to disengage Shikroy. Turn into the Indian dying. Buyback from Travis. Can they continue on? The Spectre is dropping very low. He could even go for the TP back to base and yeah. If he does, he could just jump back in, but instead he really wants to kill into Delu. Oh, it's This is gonna be really annoying to kill. Baxter, mini haunt, Delu. Very low. One second. There's the lasso onto the Beastmaster again. They will lose Mamang Daya. And that's gonna be two kills. Next to Roche, that just respawned. They even dropped the tombstone next to Roche. Paris is dying to a Spectre <laughs> illusion. Spectre is also a good Roche hero with the Manta style desolate. He's going bad shooting. Oh, Travis, that would be a dieback if they manage to secure it. There's no lasso for Yahweh, but the arrow will definitely land and just for good measure get the Rubik killed before you take that Roshan. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Roshan has fallen to the dust. Yeah, again, once again. Like, have it, uh... Here you kill him, right? Yeah. They are looking for a fight right now. Mamangai gets lassoed up, and that is going to be the part completely controlled up. They will lose the Marana in return, but again, Mamangdaya not having the best fun against Yahweh's bat. Okay, that waveform coming in from Jikroi. The damage being dealt to Varini. Spectre's in trouble. Spectre will lose his first life, but of course, he does have that secondary available. Full HP, full mana, Spectre going back for more with the full haunt. Roar gets thrown out onto the Bat Rider, but Spectre, oh, the movement speed buff to the Bat uh, Beastmaster gets him out of dodge, or so he thinks, but the Spectre, he can chase with the Shadow Step spam. Kill secure, Travens will be hunted onto the high ground. Jikroi is here, but what can Jikroi realistically do when his entire team has fallen? Very nicely done there, but Radiance top tower is under attack. Get the jump. Allies disappear. Jumped on the initial, then the fight. The fight actually went out so long and puts five yeah, again. <laughs> they have no in this. This is just, just chilling. Okay, dream coil was used as well. That was a little bit unfortunate. Chase in, trying arrow. to get onto Not Yahweh. Really. The arrow lands and a huge catch and a huge kill. Jikori will fall. It's actually kind of nice that you steal. You get the axe on Morph, you turn into Spectre, and then you get that mini haunt, the Shadow Step. I mean, more man. Radiant's uh, middle tower is under attack. Well, you know. Radiant's top tower. It's fallen. dumb, but he still loses. Oh, he smoked up. Smoke gets broken, Breeze drops the tombstone, Dalil is very stuck. Back to Haunt, okay, this is starting to get very laggy on the screen. A lot of illusions in the fray, looking for control onto Jikroi. Do they get the catch? They do get the Lincoln Spirit double pop, because of course he got gifted a Lincoln's charge by Mamangdaya. Great save coming out from the puck there. He actually threw out his Lincolns to make sure that that one got broken instead of the lasso connecting. A Rubik of all heroes. I mean, I see it on like centaurs still. Radiant are scared. Oh, Rana chilling. They get the lasso onto red. Tombstone gets dropped immediately. They're just so heavily slowed in the process. The little is going to get taken down. 
They do actually manage to... Nope, seems to be Smash on the other side. He gets taken down by the Spectre Illusion. And uh, the high ground push needs the creeps to walk a little bit for the forward, but it's looking very much army geniuses right now. It's just too many targets. You've got a tombstone, you got Visage for Lloyds, you've got Wraith Back Totem, you've got Spectre Haunt. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Nice yeah, he always. That doesn't hurt. I have no idea. Radiant's bottom barracks are under attack. Radiant structures are fortified. I I, I guess that's what this is. Would you give it to double haunt or double lasso? I don't know my bias answer. Yes, tell me your biased Radiant's answer. Top double tombstone. <laughs> your shaman has fallen into the dark. He should just get level 20. <laughs> And just die. Go all for spawn. Army Genius is looking at. Try and jump someone. I've never jumped. Start the fight. Who do you jump? Like the supports are all the way in the back. The rest are kind of unkillable. Oh, Yahweh goes in with the lasso again. Catches the Beastmaster. Beastmaster is done for 50 seconds. Does have a buyback like available. They're actually gonna go for a second lasso onto the Morphling that they expected. No, they did not. He is dead. 80 seconds. No buyback available for the Morphling, and that should be game. Radiance top barracks are under attack. Radiance top barracks has fallen. Radiance middle tower has fallen. Um, I, I, probably, but I think the lasso was already almost enough to get the kill secured there low. Finally, they're trying to make a play to keep them at bay, but it's just easy pickings all over the place. Lasso from the Rubik does not really result in much, and the GG has been called. It's Army Geniuses taking the series to the Radiant's to middle barracks are under attack. Dire victory. Well played, Army Geniuses. Both games are played.